a pretty basic office install here. This is a design firm in San Francisco. They were moving offices. They had a bunch of outdated equipment at their old spot. So we wanted to get them set up for their new location. Um, we've been doing a bunch of work uh, over the last couple of days. So right now we've already run Ethernet to a couple of different locations. So we have our first location right up here, feeding predominantly these two office locations. All of the devices here, again, are going to be Wi-Fi connected, just given some of the constraints of the space. Further down the hallway, we have our second AP located in kind of a central spot in the office. Nice and easy and clean install. And then we have a back room back here uh, with the large assortment of desks and our final third AP. Um, nice, quick and easy. Did require a lot of uh, crawl space work, which was not a ton of fun. And then our final piece here is just a very basic uh, D5 flex camera, helps cover this back patio area. And yeah, so that's the uh, setup and configuration. A couple of locations, this install is gonna be this device, VDM Pro SE. We've got three U6 pluses and then uh, a G5 flex on the back. Uh, that's just gonna be a little monitor for some stairs. And I've worked with UDM Pros before. I've never worked with UDM SE. But for this install, this device seems to work really well. A very limited number of devices. They don't have very complex requirements. They're not running any services. They don't have any static IPs or external things that are pointing them. They just need good Wi-Fi, good network relation. So get this guy out. Now, we are going to use the firewall in this device. We're not going to use something separate. If this was a, a more substantial installation with more complex requirements, we might do that. But for this install, this seems like it works really, really well. And I'll explain that here in just a moment. But let's crack this guy open. So. Here's the UDM Pro SE. Can bring it forward a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. And pretty basic. Eight port switch here on the front. Uh, has a hard drive. I'll explain why in just a moment. And it's a 1U rack mountable device. So we're going to end up putting it into this straightforward wall, wall mount rack. It's not very long, so it's easy to work in a wall mounted rack situation. And we're not going to frankly need too much in that rack, in part because of this device. So. The reason we ended up choosing this is a few reasons. One, there's a limited number of devices for this space. It's approximately 2,500 square feet. It might be 3,000. Um, so we have three Wi-Fi access points for the location. We have one security camera. And then everything else in the office is actually going to be wired up, or actually not going to be wired up. It's going to be Wi-Fi connected. And just given budget constraints, given their prior equipment, the laptops and machines that they have, that's going to work best for them. So this device works nicely because these are all PoE um, ports here. So that means I can run and power all of those devices just through this item. I don't need a PO, separate PoE switch. And so what we're going to have in that rack is just a PDU, a little surge protector. Uh, we're going to have the cable modem, and we're going to have the cable coming in, and then we're going to have this device. And that's going to, in essence, run everything because this device will run both the network infrastructure and the Wi-Fi APs. It'll also run the security camera system through the application Unify Protect, which works pretty well. It keeps all that information, all that data locally. So we've got a hard drive somewhere here. Uh, we're gonna toss in this bad boy. It does come with 128 gigabytes of SSD storage, but we're gonna expand that just so we've got a nice history for our security camera. And yeah, that's it. So. For an office like this, it's a single device that covers a security camera and a network system. Don't need a separate switch, especially in an environment that's going to be heavily uh, Wi-Fi oriented. This works really well because it can power up your APs plus have a few cameras and it kind of gives you everything that you need. So we're going to get into the install in a little bit here, get into the rack, but I'm excited to see how this works because uh, it does cut down on the equipment that you need for a basic office location. All right, so we finished our office install for <coughs> UDM Pro SE. We've got three APs and a uh, security camera on it. Now, I haven't been able to pretty this up too much, but I'll give you a look because of some older equipment 
and some unfortunately long patch cables. It's a pretty ugly install. We'll fix that later. So here's our system right up here. UDM Pro SC, we've got a little patch panel for our connections. We have some three foot long patch cables, which is why there's so much of a cabling mess. And then a very old Comcast phone system um, that we're using that was gonna be replaced by a VoIP solution eventually. But works very well. That, if you want, you can see, you can check some network statistics. This is a Saturday, there's no one in the office, so not much happening on the network. Really got what we wanted from this. Um, only thing I've noticed so far in terms of hiccups with the UDM Pro SE, two things. One, and this is, we're using U6 Pluses for the in-sealing devices. Um, some of the hopping between the APs has been a little bit slower than I would expect. Um, we do seem to have a lot of Wi-Fi interference in this space, and so I, uh, the devices are set to do channel analysis overnight and then potentially make changes and adjustments. So hopefully that improves that over time. And I am gonna make some configuration adjustments in terms of uh, having APs shed users once they get below a, a minimum RSSI or kind of signal strength threshold. So that should help a little bit as folks move between the office spaces. We are getting, you know, 600, 700 plus, um, 750 plus on the Wi-Fi itself on Wi-Fi 6. So. Performance has been really solid. Coverage throughout the space is great. Uh, other thing I will note, we had to do this install before uh, Comcast was ready for the internet connection. And conceptually, you can set up the ODM uh, Pro SE without an internet connection, but you kind of can't. You can create the device, you can configure the device, but you can't actually adopt anything. So even though we had multiple APs all hardwired, none of them could be adopted. Um, so there's not much and eventually I had to kind of fully flash that, set it back to factory defaults and then do an install once we actually had the Comcast internet in place. But <clears throat> all things considered, you know, for this basic office location, it covers security camera, it covers their access points, it gives them a nice robust, you know, kind of front end firewall and the ability, you know, to set up their, um, <clears throat> their network configuration as they need. Plus, for me, it provides a lot of great remote management capabilities. Separate site earlier today actually gave me a call because of a new NVR situation. Um, they have some of the viewports, and I was able to jump onto their system remotely, help them get them get items addressed. So that remote management piece is also super nice for someone like me who does IT for small companies, right? Um, helping to jump on, at a minimum, conducting some initial analysis of you know issues and concerns helps a lot when you're running out. So... Yeah, small office, I think it's great. Um, install is pretty straightforward, basic. You don't need an IT professional, but if you wanna get the most out of it, make sure you're getting the right equipment, I would recommend you work with someone if you're not familiar in this space. But if you have interest in it, certainly something that you can pick up and, and execute on your own. It's a very straightforward process for the setup and configuration. So yeah, happy with how it turned out. I think this office is gonna be really happy. They're moving from Comcast Wi-Fi with a separate NetHawk router that they had three different Wi-Fi networks that were all separate. It was kind of a mess. And so I think they're going to be really happy with the new config. Everything's going to be on a single SSID. They're going to have a client portal for them to, uh, when they have clients in the space, their Sonos is all on the same Wi-Fi network and they couldn't do that with their prior configuration at all. So uh, yeah, all in all, good outcome and a solid product, I think. I've had some issues with some of the Protect products recently, but this has worked pretty well. So really nice device for $4.99, I think. Um, covers a lot of ground, especially if you don't have a lot of devices that you need to manage. Uh, yeah, really good bang for the buck.